Hello and welcome to another tutorial in Lightwave 3D. Today we're looking at creating a skeleton, uh, a skeleton structure for your uh, characters so that you can animate them in layout. These skeletons get converted to bones in layout. So this is Modeler and let's get started. So to start, let me go to layer two and put layer one in the background like that. And then I'm going to use the side view, go to the setup tab and click on skeletons. Right, so let's start with the center of gravity. Let me click and drag and then put three bones in the torso. One, two, three, like that. So the positioning is not very critical at this point because you can always edit them. So let me click here to make the neck and then I go into the head and then for the eye, like that. Select that bone, hit H and click and drag downward to stretch it, left and right to stretch it like that. And then Control T to move things around point by point like that. The torso is supposed to curve towards the back like this. So try to make it as bones as even as possible and as curved as possible without distorting the shape. Something like that will be fine. So let's select the center of gravity, go to the front view, select skeleton again and click like this. Put a very small bone down here and then exit, go to the side view, and then let's make the, the knee, and then we go down here just before we reach the bottom, we stop somewhere there in the middle, and then let me put a small knee bone, and then let me put the foot, and then the toe. Hit enter, and let's go to the arms now. So for the arms, let me select this torso bone. And then in this view, select skeletons, go to the side and again, put a small bone down here for orientation. And then I could go to the top this way. Where is the top view? And then I move that bone like that. And then put I put two bones here, the wrist bone and the lower wrist. And then from here now you can put some other bones that go to the fingers. So I won't do the fingers because they take time, but you get the idea. So the thing all the finger bones connect here on the second wrist bone. So if I go back to the perspective view and then select these bones, I can reorient them with the rotate tool, select mouse so that it rotates on the mouse point like that. Okay. So it's very, very important to bend the arm of the character. As you can see, this character's arm is bending a little bit downward so that IK booster, whatever IK2 you are using knows which direction you prefer the bend. So it bends downward like this. And even on the side, it, bend, it bends, the arm bends towards the front and towards the bottom. So these things are very important. So once you put all your fingers and you are done, select uh, all the bones up to the shoulder bone there. And then let's go back here. Select also these that are down here on the foot. I right click and make a circle like that to select while holding down shift. And then once you have that, but before you do this, select all the, the bones in the center. I'm right clicking and dragging all the bones in the center and then press V and then make sure it's at zero and X zero and then OK to make sure that all the bones are in the center. And then select click and drag, right click and drag, select these and then select the last two here and then shift V for mirror and then press N for numeric. Make sure all the values are at zero here and merge points is selected and then press enter. So now you have your skeletons in the right place. 
so just make sure let's go to the eye this one let's select this eye bone here which I didn't mirror so let me move it to one side and then select those two bones as well shift V for mirror N for numeric make sure everything is at zero merge points press enter okay so now I can simply when I'm done grab these bones cut and paste them in layer one and that's how you make skeletons for your character so if you want more to tell layout where uh, which bones control what you can put weight maps but that's a tutorial for another video where I show you how to put weight maps but for now this is how you make skeletons save your character load it in layout and convert them to bones and you're good to go you can also rename these uh, skeletons if you want one by one by clicking on a particular skeleton let me uh, go down here go to setup more and rename skeleton and you can type whatever name you want like shoulder I hope that's the spelling for shoulder or left or right shoulder whatever it is and finally you can go to layout go to load and load your object into layout and then you go to the setup tab click add on add bone convert skeletons into bones and just like that you have bones to use to manipulate your character and animate it all right so that's it for making skeletons i will see you in another tutorial